Courage, discipline, and determination are the key elements that enable warriors and armies to achieve victory. Their harmonious combination makes it possible for any army to achieve significant victories. But for these elements to come together, there must also be coordination and the belief that victory is possible. Otherwise, the mere existence of these elements may not be enough for victory. This is what we have witnessed recently in the context of the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. By combining all these elements, the Ukrainian armed forces continue to achieve significant successes on the front line. As our reports have noted, one of the areas where the Russian armed forces are most vulnerable is intelligence. The myth created over the years about the size and the effectiveness of the Russian intelligence is now beginning to unravel and the failure of the Russian intelligence is now generally accepted. This weakness is becoming increasingly evident in the successful attacks carried out by the Ukrainian armed forces. Recently, the Ukrainian armed forces have achieved significant successes, dealing serious blows to the Russian military. But let's take a look at more detailed information about these developments. As the Pioneer team, we continue to share our report on Russia-Ukraine war with you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily reports. You can also support me and my team by using the super thanks button below the videos. Let's just start if you are ready, because the Pioneer reports. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine continues uninterrupted and sometimes increasing in intensity, sometimes decreasing. This war has become a reality that the whole world recognizes and global policies are being shaped accordingly. Units of the Russian armed forces are suffering more and more casualties every day, and this is increasing. In the meantime, concerns and anxiety in the international community is growing as the conflict depends and its effects spread. As key emphasize of our report, is that this complex is an issue that influenced by many factors. One of the most important of these factors is intelligence. The current state of Russian intelligence is one of the great weakness, and the Russian intelligence agency, which for a long time tried to remain close to criticism, now seems to be completely out of control. Many sources criticize Russian intelligence on certain issues and insist that these criticisms are justified. I will address this issue in detail, but first, let us analyze the latest operation of the Ukrainian army in detail. So, in recent days, Russian intelligence has been subjected to the criticism regarding a secret base targeted by the Ukrainian armed forces in the naval infantry operation. This operation took place thanks to the Ukraine's great full planning and the Russian military's negligence due to the lack of oversight. And the Russian military was confident that the base was secure, but this perception of security was shaken by strategic decision by Ukraine. Moreover, the location of the base was easily discoverable by Ukraine and security measures were inadequate. This once again demonstrated the strategic acumen of the Ukraine armed forces and the weaknesses of the Russian intelligence. There is no precise information on the exact location of the base, but the active participation of Ukrainian marines suggests that it was probably located on the Kherson front line in the direction of Krynki. It is also noteworthy that the Ukrainian armed forces have drones, an important advantage in this war. However, there is still no effective drone defense system. The drones of the Ukrainian armed forces were once again activated and in strategic operation was launched, these drones first conducted reconnaissance flights around the base and observed the area. The absence of any security measures around the base provided a significant advantage in the Ukraine's favors, and this information was confirmed by the images collected by the drones. After the reconnaissance phase, the drones moved on to the main operational, operational phase and launching kamikaze strikes inside the base. These kamikaze strikes were intended to effectively damage enemy targets by attacking them directly. At the time of the attack, there were many munitions inside the base. With the impact of the drones, the ammunition that entered the base exploded, causing chaos inside the base. With the intensity of the explosions, Russian soldiers inside the base were forced to flee outside. It was like escaping from the hell. But there was another hell waiting for them outside. The Ukrainian marines were outside the base and surrendered it on three fronts. Behind the Russian soldiers was the base that in front of them were the Ukrainian soldiers. 
This made it even more difficult for the Russian soldiers to escape and increase the danger they faced. So intense fighting broke out, during which the Russian troops were repeatedly called upon to surrender. However, the Russian commander there refused all the requests and decided to continue the fight. In the course of this conflict, many Russian soldiers were wounded in the drone strikes, so their ability to participate in the battle was considerably reduced. On the other hand, the Ukrainian soldiers were still resisting because they had never faced such intense fighting before. The Russian troops' resistance was very weak and the Ukrainians were trying to prolong the process and make the Russian troops surrender. According to reports, despite the fact that many Russian soldiers lost their lives in the fighting in the area, Russian commanders still did not consider the option of surrender. However, during the fighting with the destruction of the Russian commander, Russian soldiers began to surrender, waving white flags, thus ending the resistance. According to local sources, more than 10 Russian soldiers were killed during the fighting and three Russian soldiers surrendered. The surrendered Russian soldiers were reportedly taken to the Ukrainian base and interrogated. However, so far there has been no statements from the Russian military sources or the political power. According to the various sources, the base was thoroughly inspected after the conflict and important materials were found inside. These materials were sent to the Ukrainian headquarters for the examination, after which the base was destroyed and the Ukrainian flag was raised over the area. The latest operation of the Ukrainian armed forces is of great significance as they destroyed the largest Russian base in recent days. Initially, there was a complacency about the secrecy of the base and that it could not be found, but this comfort turned out to be unfounded. For this level of the confidence to exist in a strong intelligence organization is necessary. However, it is the fact that Russia has fallen short in this regard and intelligence failures have increased. The failures of Russian intelligence are causing growing public anger. The myth of the strong Russian intelligence is thought to have collapsed with the war. And the Ukrainian army has achieved critical successes in the various operations by effectively circumventing Russian intelligence. At times, they did not even need to do this because they did not face an effective intelligence organization. This suggests that the Russian intelligence was ineffective against the Ukrainian army and made the Ukraine's job easier. So, what do you think? Do you think the Ukrainian army was successful in bypassing Russian intelligence? What do you think? And what do you see as the main reasons for the Russian army's failure? How do you assess the impact of the Ukrainian army's critical offensives on Russia's war strategy? Let me know in the comments, because you know that I read and I care about all of your comments.